All right, in this video, we're going to show you how to use the X Vizio Slam camera with the X2 smart glasses. So, what we're going to do is create a new project 2019. We'll call it Third Eye USB Demo. And we'll create it. Now, to make things a little bit easier, we have a Unity package that you can import. Just double click that and we're going to import all of these things. These are the uh, SDKs and the native libraries that we need and some scripts. Reload the scene. Okay, our scene, let's see here, is just a spaceship. This is a free asset you get from the Unity asset store. And now we're going to go set some things for our build. The first one we want to do is we're going to switch to Android. So switch platforms. Okay, now let's go set some player settings. First thing we want to do is change this to 9. And change the back end. And we're a 64-bit machine, so we'll change 64-bit. Okay, good. Now let's take a look at some things that we brought in here. We've got our spaceship that we talked about before. We've got our rig, which represents our left and right displays. You'll see that there's a XLAM camera controller script. You want to make sure your position is zero, zero. And these other settings are like this. Then if we look down into the plugins directory, Android, Libs, ARM64, We'll see these are all the native libraries for the SLAM system. Go back up to Android, we'll see there's a manifest here. Camera permissions, USB permissions. Unity's gonna merge this with its manifest when it builds the app for us. Uh, but this is the important part here, the device filter for the USB. Uh, and there's also this XVizio SDK Java. Uh, this does the job of detecting when the device is connected along with this little file right here and then it passes on uh, the permission to the actual underlying native libraries uh, we've also got some scripts not this scripts uh, let's see scripts this is the slam controller script that we looked at here it's importing a bunch of the native library code this is the file descriptor and the file descriptor is going to be for the USB device that gets attached when we plug it in. And if we come down here, you'll see here's where we use that Java code. Gets the file descriptor and passes it into the native code here with the file descriptor. If you don't include this part, then your SLAM system just won't start. Okay, so let's check. We are should be connected to our X2. Oops. Should be connected to our X2. Uh, you can see I'm in widescreen mode. To switch in and out of widescreen mode, you just use this little guy right here. That'll switch you back and forth. You can also do it from the settings. So let's build for the first time. Uh, we'll just call it Third Eye USB Demo APK. And it'll take a couple minutes to build. Okay, we've installed. Now we're gonna get the standard Android permissions. And there's our spaceship. So let's kill this. All right. So in order to run Visor and debug and everything like that at the same time as you've connected your USB, camera can be useful to run ADB over Wi-Fi. So we'll close our standard. You can see from ADB devices this is the serial number of my headset that's connected. So we'll do an ADB-S 37F6C418 TCP IP 555 this says ADB device the serial number Activate TCP IP mode at this port. 
Oh, I should have said. Let's do this again. Let's go back real fast. You want to make sure your device is connected to Wi-Fi for this. Let's connect your network. See, I am connected to my Wi-Fi network. And we can just drill down here to the standard Android menus. And you'll see my IP address is .19. Put that away. So now we'll connect. ADB connect. 92.168.1.19.555. And if you see the devices, you'll see it's listed here. And now you'll see it's listed here. So let's unplug the USB debug cable. And now we can connect to our visor. Same screen we had before. Okay. Now I'm going to plug in the USB cable for the Xvisio camera. You see a little green light should come on in front, and it takes mm, five or six seconds to boot up. All right, see now this is the permission. Here's the app we were just working on. I like to say just once when I'm developing, just so I know I have the timing right, but you can say always. All right. There you go. Now it's ready to go. My headset was on a bit of a slant, so you see it kind of did that. And you can get close, and you can look further away. And that's it. This is in six stop mode, so it's going to start up. This is a simple demo. It'll just start up and place the object a little bit in front of your face, wherever you're standing.